for so we'll just keep thinking about it. Hello, I'm Kim Munson of The Kim Munson Show, where we search for truth and clarity by looking at these issues through the lens of freedom versus force, force versus freedom. In my political conversations, few can be as confusing and polarizing as the issue of climate change. Ask the average person what it is and how they feel about it, and you're bound to get a wide variety of answers. And this is supposed to be a topic that we all agree on, according to what we've been told by the powers that be. You've probably heard the statistic that 97% of scientists agree on climate change, specifically when it comes to human involvement in its creation. Well, then who wants to be on the wrong side of that equation, especially when it comes to a supposed unbiased scientific consensus? And why has it become political? Shouldn't we all be able to examine the scientific evidence and all draw the same conclusions regardless of what candidate you support in an election? I would say that the majority of us agree that we don't want a waste-filled planet that has become inhospitable to life as a result of our activity as human beings. We all desire clean air, fresh water, and fertile land that continues to flourish throughout the generations of our human existence. So as the planet changes, as we're able to record its fluctuations in climate, temperature, CO2 content, and so forth, what does it mean? Are the consequences of our actions bringing a coming planetary apocalypse? And if this is the case, what measures, however extreme, have to be taken to prevent this inevitable extinction? These are the questions I have, and I want answers if there are answers to be had. I want answers that are science-based and not subject to political interests. So that's what we intend to do. Today we're going to have an honest, simple, and short discussion on this broad topic we call climate change. Our discussions today will take us through a wide range of topics, including the history of Earth's temperature and CO2 content, a discussion for the cost for the United States to go carbon-free by 2050, the availability of materials to go carbon-free, and the implications of gaining access to those materials. Today, we're seeking the honest, unfiltered truth when it comes to the climate of our planet. <laughs>